Might be helpful, yeah. What is Oh yeah, they they're all weird now that because it changed them in zone two. make it with shadow unit frames but it's built into LUI. I just use the LUI ones. And the way my raid frames and unit frames look are inspired upon uh, LUI, not LUI. What the, the other add-on pack that a lot of people use. It's, a, it's, it's L LVI, I think? Yeah, it's LVI. It's, it's inspired upon that. So where am I? I use Louis UI or LUI. Yeah. But my health frames and my raid frames are inspired upon LVIs where the full frame is dark black or a dark tone and when you take damage it, uh, it goes from like green to red depending on how much damage you've taken. tank has it. Uh, that's tidy plates or KUI nameplates. Both of them do the same thing. Or I'm sure if you have uh, nameplates from LVI which you don't use, they do the same thing as well. Yeah, it's a really good tanking add-on. I've used it since Rabbit Edge King. It's really nice to see what the hell you have threat on. Yeah, it's really easy to just like run into a pack and then start AOing it and then one guy for some reason doesn't go to you and he starts running to your healer but you see it through because you don't have threat on it, you just taunt him over to you and you're good. That's why I recommend having a mouse over taunt, but yeah. feel like 
let's go with that. I don't want any haste personally, but if you feel like you want some haste, then go for it and see how it feels. I have a thousand haste, or not a thousand, I have ten thousand haste, but I'm looking to get rid of it. But it's not working out in my favor. But I usually go verse and mastery. Mastery for physical, versatility for magic. Most damage is physical, that's why mastery is generally better. But this raid tier has got a decent chunk of magic damage in it. An abnormal amount of magic damage, actually. up with so much information that you just forget everything. Well, the thing about Fortifying Brew is it's really not a 7 minute cooldown, as long as you're doing your rotation fine, like, semi good. It's gonna really only be a four minute cooldown. So it's kind of like Warrior Shield Slam, but at the same time, it's ten times stronger than Warrior Shield Slam, and it's the best shield wall in the game. But also at the same time, you're a monk and you don't need cooldowns because Iron Skin Brew is pretty much shield wall in itself. So never. <laughs> uh, I know it sounds terrible, but really, I don't use the ability often enough myself. It's one way I think everyone. Yeah, except you're gonna get stunned. Because they changed it. it. Generally, a Mythic Plus, and Aya Shar is a bad example because it's pretty hard to collect the first pack. Because, well, if you want to make a big pack, it's really hard to collect it. Because there's a lot of casters and shit. But generally, I try and pull like the first two, three guys, as, depending on difficulty, and pop like Fortifying Brew there. So one other thing that sucks about doing that sometimes is sometimes you're not really the guy that's gonna die even if you pop a cooldown or not you don't really need it sometimes because like Dark Heart Thicket is a perfect example where if those cats don't die immediately or if they're not stunned for like 5-10 seconds your healer's just gonna die it's not really your fault or it's not really you that's gonna be getting killed it's your healer Yeah, um, it's only uh, 41 stacks. If, as you can... So, there's an advanced technique with Brewmasters, and I'm doing it right now. I can basically go AFK and eat some popcorn and fucking never die to this thing. Because I'm cheating. <laughs> sure oh, because I just hit it. It, yeah, it goes up to fucking however long you can get it. I, I think in that screenshot it's like, I don't know what the hell duration it is, but that screenshot it's pretty high. I mean, let me check. Yeah, it's four minute, 5 minutes 40 seconds, so I actually have it longer over here. Yeah, they're changing that though. I think it's going to be like a duration of 36 seconds or something in 7.2.5. Because they don't like that uh, we can do this. Yeah, I pretty much at the end of Mythic Pluses, I generally have two to three minutes of Iron Skin Brew, and if it's a weak Mythic Plus, I 
don't really feel like I need to purify. I usually just do it for damage for special delivery. That's why I like special delivery because it just feels kind of bad hitting Iron Skin Brew and nothing happening. And you have like two minutes of the duration up, so it's like kind of keeps me using the ability. No. It consumes this, the same st uh, stack. Yeah, no, it doesn't get rid of the duration. That would be horrible. But, I mean, you can you can look at my health and see I'm bouncing between 35% health all the time. So, the way this works to get this tree-ass dummy, and you can do it yourself too, and you don't really need gear, is when you stand next to a corner, like how I'm doing right now, really you just need to have like your right character towards any wall, the orbs cannot spawn on that wall, so they'll be forced to spawn under you. So pretty much any time I spawn an orb, I use an orb. So my health is constantly going above 35%. So I'm basically invincible. Now there of course are some limits to this shenanigans, but the training dummy can't do it yet. Maybe at like a hundred stacks, it'll just one shot me. I mean, with four set, I have eight minutes of it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Cake smash is four seconds. Yep. Then you also have, uh, Hex Mesh reduces the Black Axe Brew duration, or its cooldown. So normally I would just Iron Skin Brew like three to four times. Well, well four times at least, because energy and other reasons why you wouldn't want to just get three charges out at the beginning of a fight and then Black Ox Brew. So use like four to five um, Iron Skin Brews and then I go soon, soon before the keg smash comes up, we'll then use Black Ox Brew and then Iron Skin Brew again, and then keg smash is reducing their cooldown by both of those abilities by four seconds. Like my top damaging ability on this is Tiger Foam. I don't need to be just like going all over the place. Oh, uh, I don't remember the last time I hit it, actually. <laughs> I've casted it four times, and I'm sure I could, I've been in here for 14 minutes. So I just I just haven't used it, really. I've been talking, so I've just been doing my main rotation. 
that really well either. There's the Breath of Fire initial hit, the dot, and then the golden trait, the Dragon Fire Brew. That's all basically Breath of Fire's damage. And if you add all that crap up, then it becomes like a little bit next to it's it's about the same damage as Keg Smash. And then if you have the chest, then it's pretty much double that. Yeah. Right, row. I'm about to die. No. It's not happening. No. I'm just gonna die. No. <laughs> you fucking gigantic ass training dummy. Um, I don't know. Probably not. <laughs> At least I got it to 1%. Yeah, well, it was like that for like 20 minutes. Uh oh, because <laughs> you healed it. <laughs> there it goes. Um, I don't know really. I don't heal, so I think it's fine though. It's kind of cool spells in my opinion. It does cool things. It does heals. <laughs> I don't, I don't misweave though, I mean, I have the weapon. Yeah, for the longest time I didn't have the weapon, but I have it now. Which one? Um, like the, the, the new, new one? Yeah, the, you, like, you get all your initial weapon filled out. Yeah, yeah. though, yeah, that's just armor and health. Or armor, I guess. Yeah, that's just seven, it's 17% armor for us. It was, uh, it was replaced with that. Uh, like the original fifty four, was. Uh... Oh no, that's. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. It's thirty five percent armor. Ten percent stamina and ten percent damage. I mean, it sounds like a lot, but brewmasters don't have any armor. Like, how much? Are... 4,381. What are you at? Oh, you're just a baby.